And we're bringing you in-depth coverage tonight on the countdown to the shutdown. Democrats and Republicans are blaming each other for the budget stalemate that could lead to the first partial shutdown in some 17 years. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi has been tracking the latest developments out of Washington. He joins us now live in the Impact Center to answer some of your questions. You know, Ted, how did we get to this point? Mike, it's actually pretty simple. After last year's election in Washington, you have a Democratic president, a Democratic Senate, but a Republican House of Representatives. Then you have the deep divide still between the parties over the health care law, President Obama's Affordable Care Act. The Republicans still want to get rid of it, but the Democrats still want to keep it. And then, of course, you've had the total breakdown of the budget process in Washington. Tomorrow, the first day of the new federal fiscal year, and no bills have been passed to fund the government. And now they're fighting over whether the health law is funding should be included in that. So you're left with this stalemate. Rhode Islanders, Ted, want to know what it means for them. What's going to be the impact here? It depends a lot on the individual Rhode Islander, obviously, but here are a few of the big points. Um, it's estimated about 7,000 federal workers in Rhode Island will be sent home without pay. Their offices will close. Their work will stop. On Social Security, it's important for people to know benefits will be paid, though there could be some delay in new applications. But Social Security checks will go out. The national parks will close. That, of course, will get a lot of attention nationally. And then the question of how the economy will be affected is the big one. It's important to note there's a real difference between a short uh, shutdown for just a few days and a long one that lasts weeks like we saw in the 1990s. Well, Ted, let's say the federal government shuts down. How does the government get things going again? Basically the same day way you avoid a shutdown in the first place. Congress has to pass those bills to fund the government. And so the question you're left with is, what changes between now and then? Will the Republicans agree to allow the health law to uh, keep its funding in place? Or will Democrats lead agree to a one-year delay or some other change there? But that's the big question right now. It's not clear which side is going to fold in this. And that's also why it's not clear how long the federal government could sh stay shut down. On the other hand, it could be that we'll wake up tomorrow and there will be a deal overnight. Just a lot of uncertainty right now, Mike. All right, that is Ted Nisi live at the Impact Center. Thank you, Ted. And you can stay with Eyewitness News for updates all evening long as the countdown to a possible government shutdown looms closer. We'll have live reports throughout the evening here on WPRI 12, and you can find in-depth coverage around the clock on WPRI.com.